What's up, folks? It's Green Thumb. So uh, you guys have been asking about what I harvested at the garden today. And uh, so I'll give you a bit of a walkthrough. We've got uh, Romas and San Marzanos in here, along with a bunch of cherry tomatoes. So what I'm doing is I'm picking ones that are just starting to change color too, because I'm not sure when I'm going to get back to the garden. We've got a whole big bag, like this is a one of those big vinyl shopping bags full of cucumbers. That thing weighs like 20 pounds. So some of the ones that are huge like this, um, I'm not going to eat those, but I'm bringing them home anyways. Um, so we have Market Moors. National Pickling Cukes and Boston Pickling Cukes in here. I'm going to make uh, dill pickles. Uh, these are the large tomatoes. We have um, brandy wines and mortgage lifters and a couple of aromas and some cherry tomatoes in there. We've got uh, pie pumpkins and squashes. And then that squash there, I'm not sure what it is. It might be a kukri squash. I'm not sure. A fellow gardener gave me several different squash plants. So I've got this, not a zucchini. That's some sort of squash. I'm not sure. It feels like it's rather soft skinned, so I probably won't be able to preserve it. This is another type of squash. I have no idea. I got to find the tags, but they're buried in that massive mess. Um, and what else we got? And then this one, this one's kind of cool looking too. Look at the color on that, right? That's like tangerine orange. That's pretty looking. And that's hard. Like that's a really hard squash. And then we've got pie pumpkins. Let me get my big leg out of the way here. Uh, in here we have... Paprika peppers, and we have uh, F1 something or others. I can't remember the name. That's uh, some sort of hybrid, but they're nice. I haven't had any issues with those. We've got a bunch of green peppers. We've got, uh, what do we have? King of the North and Big Reds. Um... So they're nice. They're all nice and nice and really firm. And then we have a couple super shepherds. I picked them a little early because I'm not sure when we're going to get a frost. So I figured I might as well get them out of there now before uh, we get a frost because it's, I don't know, what's the date today? 10th or 11th or something of September. So, And then we have a bunch of jalapenos. So uh, I'm either going to make cowboy candy or jalapeno pickle rings. The, the pick, jalapeno pickle rings I can use for a lot more different applications. Put them on sandwiches and burgers and, you know, put them on your plate and, you know, eat them with pork and like that sort of stuff. So that's probably where I'm going to go with these. If I, I, I've made cowboy candy in the past and it, I have pint jars of it and I never seem to use any of it. Uh, so yeah, so these are pretty nice looking. Next we have cucumelons. Like I was saying in Northern Girl Hobbies, she was asking me how big they are and how big they get. So that's how big they get. This one, that's a big one. Uh, I generally like to pick them when they're about that size and they're crunchy and they're kind of like a lime pear cucumber and out of five plants, I normally get thousands of them. They put out a flower every eight to 10 inches. And there's, you know, probably two miles worth of vines on that plant just from, from five of them on that trellis that you guys saw in my last video. If you haven't seen my last video, uh, go check out my garden jungle walkthrough video I put out a couple hours ago. Uh, I started picking onions. These are yellow onions. Um, I'm picking them because... You see how the top is flopped over here? As soon as the tops of your onions flop over, they stop growing, right? That's kind of the sign that your onions are done. So this bag of onions here is done. And then I have this huge, massive bag of Kentucky Wonder Beans. Like, like 
10 pounds of beans here. So I know that when you're looking in here, you're going to be thinking, oh man, some of those don't look good to eat, right? I agree. I'm not going to eat that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to dry these out. I'm going to label them, put them on a big piece of cardboard, just right on the cardboard with a Sharpie, you know, green Kentucky Wonder pole beans. And then once these are dried out, I'm going to pop them all open and I am going to have lots of beans to plant next year. And then I'm going to go through these tomorrow when I have more time. Um, there, you got a better view here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here tomorrow and the ones that are edible and still in good shape, I'm going to probably, I'm just going to can them. So that way I'm going to have, uh, you know, green beans in a can. If not, then I'm going to have an awful lot of green beans to be able to plant next year. So uh, what I'm going to do... Uh, a couple of people have been asking me for some of the seeds uh, from those purple tomatoes from that video I filmed today. So what I can do, if people are interested, is uh, once I have these dried out, um, I can probably send out care packages to people with some Kentucky Wonder uh, green pole beans and some of those purple tomato seeds, um, if you guys are interested. If you are, let me know in the comments. And we can figure out a way to get that to you. So give you a, give you a view here of, of everything I harvested today. Mmm, delicious. So, yeah, that's what I got. That's everything today. Now, uh, tomorrow I'm going back and I'm picking Swiss chard, uh, basil, uh, Swiss chard, basil, as well as two different kinds of kale. I grew the dino kale that you've probably seen in the videos specifically for turning into powder. It's not very nice to eat. Um, and I'm going to pick the larger leaves off of the uh, curly dwarf kale and I'm going to powder that as well. And then the smaller, more tender leaves I'm going to bring home for deli meat sandwiches for this week for lunches. So that's what we got. Uh, I don't know the total weights. If I had to guess, I'm with the, with the squash and that massive bag of cucumbers, I'm going to guess I'm probably sitting about 100 pounds here, give or take. Um, so, yeah, that's all right. And I didn't grow that watermelon. That's from the grocery store. My watermelons didn't do so good this year. So they went in late and they didn't grow too well. So that's it, guys. That's what we harvested today. So I'm going to be building a cold storage in my basement and I'm going to start putting away certain things into the cold storage in the basement. So when I get to building that, I'll show you guys that as well. It's going to be another uh, making shit with Sean video. Those ones go over pretty well because uh, I got to get a place where I can store those squashes and pumpkins uh, and keep them nice and cold till I get to them as well as the, I don't know, 150 pounds of potatoes. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, my potatoes are ready, so I'm going to be harvesting tomorrow as well. All of the white fingerling potatoes, I'll throw a video up. Uh, I'm going to do a bunch of filming tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can send my kids over to my mom's house. And that way I can just take my time at the garden. All right. So, like I always say, grow good food. When you do, this is what you get. And keep in mind, guys, I've been dealing with a massive, massive drought this summertime. I'm watering my garden sometimes once every three weeks. And I'm doing it by hand. So, even with all the drought that we've had and the disease and the late harvests and or sorry the late plantings and all the rest of that stuff you can still pull out tons and tons and tons of food right so grow good food and uh you know put away as much as you can and don't forget about farmers markets you know you can go to farmers markets and and buy bags of food there and process it down yourself so that way you have fresh organic food that you can put away yourself, have it home, and eat this long winter. Okay? You know I love y'all. Have a great day. Grow good food. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya!